When we are speaking, we have a tendency to be lazy. But when we are writing, we can't afford to be lazy. If we want to write better, we really need to recognize the formal rules of grammar and at the same time recognize the more informal but elementary rules of usage. By doing so, we can not only write more elegantly, but we can write more consistently. An example of a rule of usage is the rule which states that we should form the possessive singular of nouns by adding apostrophe s. Now what this means is Charles is an example of a noun. It's actually a proper noun, but it's an example of a noun. In order to indicate possession, we could either say the friend of Charles, or we can use create a possessive singular of the noun by adding apostrophe s. Now in every case, we should add apostrophe s to the final consonant. In this particular case, s is the final consonant. So we write Charles's friend as s apostrophe s. The same thing when we're referring to the poems of Robert Burns, we would write this as s apostrophe s, Burns's poems. Now this is the case where the, the noun ends in a final consonant of s, or if it ends in a final consonant of h, or k, or l, or whatever. The point is, we always follow the rule that we add apostrophe s to the final consonant in order to form the possessive singular of the noun. Now when we're speaking, we often use phrases such as his parents' his house. It's a shortcut and it helps explain what we're trying to say. However, it, can be, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, so we also still have the option of saying the house of his parents. It's not a grammatical rule, it's a rule of usage. We really have a choice. Now, there are also, there are also rules of usage which force us to also recognize the rules of grammar. Now, one rule of usage is the, the way that we form contractions. We can take two words such as it is or do not, and we can change that to its and don't. In other words, we're using the apostrophe to form a contraction. Now this gets confused with the possessive pronoun, its. When we're forming the possessive pronoun, its, we want to make sure that we don't add an apostrophe. That is reserved for the contraction, it apostrophe s. So when we're writing a sentence, it's a wise dog that scratches its own fleas. We should recognize that it apostrophe s is the contraction whereas it's is the possessive pronoun.